want to get your thoughts on Tyson Fury, Derek Chisora next Saturday from England. Um, not exactly a fight that people were clamoring for. Um, Derek Chisora has they're been gonna come out. for about 50 it's, it's, it's the Brits. Yeah, of course The Brits are, are going to come out. They're going to come out. They're, and then they're going to have their pints afterwards. But they're all going to come out. They're all going to come out. That's right. That's right. Short Here's of what obvious, I think of that fight. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is what I think. Ken, this is what it's about. I know you could, we could break it down for, you know, 22 ways to Sunday. But at the end of the day, there's just two things that this is, plain and simple. One that, and one thing that it's not. Number one, it's a pension plan for Shizora before he retires. It is, and it's a good thing. I want pension plans. I've been fighting for it for years. We never got it. It's a pension plan for fighters. It's a pension plan for Shizora, an old war horse who's, who's, who has really given us all for so many years. Um, it, it's, it's the equivalent of giving someone a gold watch for their long and meritorious service to their job. 15 years you know, um, where he's fought everyone, a total of 45 fights, and has given the sport and the fans everything that he's got every time he's entered that ring. He's been a war horse. This is Fury's way of giving him a nice parting gift. Um, I think it's great. No, really, I believe in it. Uh, but that's what it is. And the second thing that it is, it's an easy payday for Fury uh, against a 38-year-old guy who... You know, he's, he's, he's already beaten him twice. He stopped him the last time, stopped him. The corner stopped it, actually, because he was, you know, obviously getting to Trezor in a bad way. Um, so he's already beaten him twice. So uh, on paper, it's, it's not supposed to be real competitive. But I'd say this, having said that, Trezor gives us all He's got a fan-friendly style. He just comes and he comes and he comes with those looping right hands and left hooks and body shots and, and, and everything. He just comes and comes. He better be careful for the uppercut of Fury, just like Dillian White uh, got finished by that. Uh, I think that's probably going to fit in there to work really, really well for Fury, the jab, controlling range, controlling distance, making Trezor pay for every inch of real estate that he's trying to make up, make him pay for it, uh, and, and catch him with the uppercut as he comes in. The shorter man trying to get in, you know, with the bigger man. Um, the one thing that it's not, I just said it, I don't think, at least on paper, it's not a competitive fight. Uh, but again, Ken, it's a beautiful gesture in an off often ugly business and um over here in the united states i already said it nobody would watch it but over across the pond it'll sell out it'll make millions of dollars uh you know because our english brothers love their heavyweights which i've already documented and uh you know i again Chisora, i'd watch it having said see i say that i have to say the truth because that's my job. And I have to break it down along those lines. But I, I'd watch it because Chisora is never going to give in. He's always going to be trying to get to you. For whether it takes, whether it lasts two rounds, three rounds, or 12 rounds. He's always going to be, and he's earned it. He has earned the right to get this gift. Um, and I applaud Fury for giving it to him. Uh, again, I shouldn't applaud too loud because he's getting a payday for it. But, you know, uh, and I'm sure that all the pubs nearby will also benefit, right? Just like you benefit at a World Series game or a, a Super Bowl where all the people that own businesses nearby, they benefit. People come to their business. I'm sure the pubs will do real well, you know, as I said earlier, with their handing out the pint pints you know and um and then you know when it's all over some crumpets and a pot of tea um i love you guys you know that i, I have fun with you but uh i i i love you guys uh and i love chisora the way he fights i love the way i love the way that after he does battle his cold his cold of conduct 
and principles of behavior, his respect for the man that he just did battle with, the way he goes out and he gets like uh, cheeseburgers, like five guy cheeseburgers or whatever the hell they have over there, and and he and he brings them into the dressing room, whether it was with after the Uzik fight, whether it was after the Parker fight, or whether it's after the uh, you know the pull. Uh, pull left fight or uh, whatever, whatever guy that he just finished sharing the ring in combat with. He comes there and he, and he sits down and, and you know, breaks bread with them, uh, has, brings some cheeseburgers. Wow. That doesn't get better than that. It don't get better than that. God bless you, Tresora. You know, go, go give it what you always give it. You know, give it hell, which you will. And, um, Make the money. Make the money that this opportunity gives you to make. You deserved it. <laughs>